So in this video, um, I'm going to actually go back and revisit one of the uh, earlier videos that I've done. In fact, it's my most successful video uh, about Adobe Captivate to date, and that's Adobe Captivate 8, Creating Your Own Interactions. So I've decided to revisit this today because of the release of Adobe Captivate 9. Certain things have changed. In Adobe Captivate 8, if you wanted to have different images appear on screen, depending on what maybe a user did on a previous slide, you would have a, a show hide uh, um, advanced interaction where you had to hide a bunch of objects and show a bunch of objects and and you know and it was uh, a little cumbersome and difficult but now there's a new way of course and that's dealing with of course uh, multi-state objects so I've recreated uh, much of what I had before um, here's my first slide and this is essentially a multiple choice question but rather than using the built-in knowledge check feature or the built-in multiple choice functionality for creating a quiz this is creating your own interaction. And there's a number of different reasons that you might want to do this. Uh, essentially what I have here is a bunch of smart shapes that have been set up to be used as buttons. And what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to need a variable to store uh, the selection that the user will make. So we'll go into the project drop-down menu and select variables. And here we can simply add a new variable, and we'll call this um, knowledge check one or KC one for short. The initial value will be zero, and we'll hit save. So that's all set up. We can now close the variables window. And what we want to do here is I'm going to select actually all of these buttons, and I'm going to go to the timing panel. Because in the past, what I would do is use an advanced action to assign the variable a new value and then proceed to the next slide. Because essentially, anytime you have two or more steps, you're going to need to use advanced actions. We're going to do the same thing here, but we are going to do it a little bit differently. We're going to pause these buttons. Uh, this slide happens to be three seconds long, so we're going to pause them at 2.9 seconds. And what we're going to do is we're going to have the action for each of these simply be to assign that variable. We'll go down to assign KC1, that's our variable, with a value of 1 in this case because Ottawa is the correct answer. And we're going to keep continue playing the project checked off. In other words, It'll unpause it at this point and keep playing. Let's check my distractors or wrong answers, much as I did in the earlier video. And the action will be the same for all of these. It'll be to assign knowledge check one a value of zero. We're really just overriding the zero that's there. But again, we'll also continue playing the project. So when, just to summarize, when a user um, leaves this page by clicking on one of the answer buttons, they will be either leaving with KC1 assigned a value of 1, in other words, they chose Ottawa, or a value of 0, any of the other answers. So now we're going to go to what essentially is our feedback page. And I've set this up very similar to how I had it before. And what I've done is I've created an image of a very happy person. Perhaps they are uh, rooting for you as you go through this course. And a message. That's correct. Ottawa is the capital, capital of Canada. So what we're going to do, we're still going to use an advanced action, but we're not going to have to do the whole show hide thing. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to give this uh, smart shape a name, and we're going to call it caption nice and simple unless that's a reserve name no I don't think so and person so we have person and caption so on this page what I need to do is I need to create a multi-state object out of um, 
out of person and out of caption. So let's start off with the caption and we'll go to state view under the properties panel. We're going to hit state view and that's going to show us our normal default or correct state. Let's do a new state and we'll call this state incorrect and we'll click OK. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to change the color of the message, the caption. And we're going to make it, uh, say, a, a very light red. No, that's almost pink. Let's go more red. That's better. So, and we're going to change what the message actually says. We're going to say that's incorrect. And we're going to say, click the try again, and we'll put that in quotation marks so we know that we're referring to the name of a button. Try again button to give it another go. Sure. <laughs> and that works pretty good. So, um, so that's our incorrect state. And uh, there's our correct state. So again, we'll be able to switch from the two different versions of that state. We're going to hit exit now. And we're going to do the same thing. Now, I loaded up, um, I, I inserted an alternate image uh, before I started this recording. So that should already be in my library. And I should be able to make the change uh, just by using state view. So we have the normal state for her. And we're going to create a new state state called incorrect and what we're going to do there is we're going to click on the uh, this uh, button here the PNG uh, like the file reference button here I'm not sure what the right word is there and I'm gonna choose the other state the other image and we're gonna click on OK and so she's giving a thumbs down so that's the incorrect state and we'll hit exit state at this point here. So in the past, in the previous version of this video, Adobe Captivate 8, creating your own interactions, I had, of course, several images that I would use uh, a show or hide um, set of commands to hide the correct results and show the incorrect results or vice versa. Now I'm going to do it a little differently. Now we're going to run an, an advanced action on the loading of this page. And we're going to create that script right now. And it has to be a conditional action because there's more than one possibility. So I'm just going to drag this over here. And we're going to call this validate underscore KC1. So we're validating the knowledge check. So if the variable known as KC1 is equal to the literal value of 1, correct, we're going to perform the following action. So we're going to change the state of caption to normal and change the state up be faster if I just type a C here. Change the state of person to normal. And this is where it gets exciting. Otherwise, in other words, anything but the value of one, in other words, zero, we're going to change the state of caption to incorrect and change the state of person to incorrect. And we're going to save that as an action and we're going to close the advanced action window and we're going to run this. So this, is, should, this should be all I need. In fact, let's just preview that and find out if I've got it correct, this is the first time I'm doing this 
Usually when I do my videos, I like to test it first. I'm doing this one live. So uh, let's just preview the entire project since it's just the two slides. So here's our create your own interaction, knowledge check, what is the capital of Canada? Let's hit Vancouver. That's incorrect. Click the Try Again button to give it another go. So let's try again. Uh, capital of Canada, Toronto. That's incorrect. Got a big thumbs down. Try again. Let's do it correctly this time. Ottawa. That's correct. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. And of course, now I could hit Continue and proceed with the rest of my course. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And hey, if you thought this video was useful or helpful or interesting or entertaining, go ahead and give me a thumbs up.